Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find the pairs with the given sum in an array. So let's see, this is the array and we want to find all the pairs in this array which have the given sum 11. Okay, GS is the given sum. Now, for finding out the given sum, you have to first sort this array either by using quick sort or merge sort or any other sort that you are comfortable with. So sort the array, yes. So first is 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay, the array is sorted now. Now in this sorted array, you have to initialize two variables. You have to initialize L to the starting of the array and R to the end of the array. Let's give index to this array. So the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Yes. So L is initialized to 0 index and R is initialized to index 9. Okay. So let's go ahead and execute this code on this array. In this code, we are going to run up to L is less than R. And inside, we are going to check the sum of the positions L and R, means the elements at positions L and R, whether it is greater than given sum or less than given sum or it is equal to given sum. Okay. So let's do it. So 1 plus 10. 1 plus 10 is 11. So let's see. 11 is equal to 11. Okay. So as 11 is equal to 11, this first if condition that is greater than given sum is not satisfied. Then the sum less than given sum is not satisfied else this condition means if it is not greater or less it must be equal to the given sum so we are going to print that pair because that is the pair with the given sum okay let's go ahead now so after printing the pair with the given sum Either you can do L plus plus or R minus minus. Here I can, I have to tell you that if you are given a question like just check whether the given array contains a pair with the given sum, then whenever you find only one pair, you can stop here. But if you want to find all the pairs within the array, then you can continue. So for continuing, you can either increment L or decrement R. So either increment L or decrement R. So increment L. In our case, I will increment L. So L is incremented. Now check 2 plus 10. 2 plus 10 is 12. So 12 is, 12 is greater than 11. See the first if condition. This sum, this sum is greater than 11. So we will do this. That is r minus minus. So we'll decrement r. Okay. Now let's go ahead. 2 plus 9. 2 plus 9 is 11. As that is equal, this if and else if is not satisfied. Directly else will be satisfied, and we will print the pair because 2 plus 9 11 is equal to 11 so the else condition is satisfied and we will print the pair so 2 comma 9 okay then l plus plus we are doing 3 plus 9 3 plus 9 is 12 so 12 is greater than 11. So this first if condition. ARR L plus ARR R means L is 2, R is 8. So elements at that position are 3 and 9. So 3 plus 9 
is 12 and 12 is greater than 11. Okay. Now, so 3 plus 9, 12 is greater than 11. So R minus minus. So we have to decrement R. Okay. Now, see, 3 plus 8 is 11, which is equal to the given sum 11. So we have to print the pair and we have to increment L. See 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 is greater than 11. So we have to decrement R. See decrementing R if sum is greater than given sum and we will increment L if sum is less than given sum. Okay. So here 12 is greater than 11 so decrement R. 7 plus 4 is 11 which is equal to the given sum 11. So write the pair 4 comma 7. So after writing this pair you have to do L plus plus. So L increments. Now 5 plus 7 is 12. So 12 is greater than 11. So you have to decrement R. Now 5 plus 6 is 11. So this is the pair. Okay. Then L will increment and in this while loop this condition will not be satisfied because we want L less than R but here L is equal to R. So we will come out of the while loop. Okay. So this is the way we find out all the pairs in an array with the given sum. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.